prepare for new security screenings at the National Zoo. This coming ahead of Easter Monday, which has been the date of violent incidents at the zoo in recent years. D.C. Bureau Chief Sam Ford with more now on the story that's new at four. This way, Matt. You bring your soul on around. Visitors to the National Zoo today were greeted with new security screening. No metal detecting machines to pass through as required to enter many government buildings, but visitors opened bags so security could inspect them. It was okay. No he problem. Said he was, it's not a machine, right? Yes. Not this time. It was okay, right? I'm glad. That's a good thing to make sure everybody's safe. Better to do it than not to do it. Today is one week from Easter Monday when the zoo had what it used to call African American Family Day, a carryover from the days of segregation. But in some recent years, there have been violent incidents. Last year, two people were shot and wounded on the sidewalk in front of the zoo. Three years before, a teen was stabbed at the zoo. The council member for that area. Nothing over the top, but it's a level of security that I think, together with coordination with MPD, you know, on the, on the outside, uh, should give people a sense of comfort. This year, the zoo's calling Easter Monday Washington Family Celebration, where city residents will mingle with what is a national crowd. It seems everyone's used to security. Better be safe than sorry. They were very polite and very courteous about it. The zoo would not provide anyone to go on camera to discuss what they're doing, but a spokeswoman said that this is but one of many measures they are taking as they get ready for the larger crowds in the spring and summer months. And yes, it will all be in place on Easter Monday. Reporting from Northwest Washington, Sam Ford, ABC 7 News.